Hello, Oz Du Soleil here with Data Scopic, and I'm going to show you about making a meaningful data representation using the logarithmic axis and making a combo chart. But so we're looking here at city populations and percent of households that have internet connections. Right? And we have these really small numbers that are hard to analyze. We don't know what's going on there. We know that they are somewhere under 100,000, but we don't know what they are. And then we have this at 614,000. It creates a challenge. So let's cut to the change in, in case you know how to build such a graph already. And we're going to click this axis. And I'm going to right click Format Axis. And log, excuse me, Logarithmic Scale. And now we can see something meaningful because what happened is the graph has said, okay, up to 10, up to 100, up to 1,000, we go up to a million. And everything is consistent and meaningful. And so let's go ahead and build it. And we've got two examples. I'm going to look at population and the percent of households with internet. So let's click in my area and notice these are bogus cities and states all right these are all made up so don't look at this as any type of accurate information all right we go insert column graph all right now what i want to do is turn this into a combo graph all right so I'm gonna write because the percentages are really small they're under a hundred thousand these cities that are really small they're under a hundred thousand and they're tiny I can't see this so 911 I can't see that so let's go ahead right click change chart type combo chart and now I want to make households with internet a line graph and I want it on a secondary axis. All right, you can see already the preview there. Great. Now let's take this and turn it into a logarithmic axis. All right. Now we can see. Now we can start doing some analysis and asking questions and looking at why is this Topsfield, Pennsylvania, what's going on with its 41,580 people and it has 61% internet access and we've got 94% of households in Box Canyon, South Carolina have internet and they only have 353 people. Is there any kind of correlation? Well, go ask a real statistician, not me. I build the graphs. I don't do too much analysis. All right, let's look at another example. Let's look at volunteers. And so we're going to build this. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right. Let's build this from scratch. Insert column graph. Okay, I don't and I don't want the percent promised, so let's just slide this out of the way. All right, so now let's explain what we've got with this graph or with this set of data. We have volunteers and the time that they promised that they would volunteer and the time that they actually volunteered in April. So we see that Yukio promised six, delivered six. Lucy promised five, delivered eight. Brenda promised 20, delivered 28. Ola, 25, delivered 77. Oh, and Benji promised 26, delivered five. Okay, we might want to know these kind of things. Um, donors want to know, you know, uh, about volunteer hours. 
people that write uh, the checks for grants and also just how are people doing with their promises are they just hanging out are they lying to us what's going on so anyway all right let's look at again we have really small numbers and really big numbers let's go ahead and change this change chart type I want to change it to a combo graph and I'm going to leave everything on the primary axis so I won't select anything for the secondary axis so promised let's make that an area graph good okay and that orange is a bit dark so let's use uh, pale yellow works alright and in order to <clears throat> make sense of these really small numbers let's go to the logarithmic axis we don't want to form that chart area we want to select axis data format axis logarithmic scale alright beautiful get rid of that okay now we can see this as something meaningful as just seeing Brenda over delivered Darius and Phyllis under delivered Benji really under delivered okay let's see if we just went by these percentages we don't really know what's what cuz Frank's 38 percent is different from you know because he only promised four and delivered one and a half so somebody else did had 38 percent you know maybe they promised 50 hours and developed 38 percent of that so we can get a visual sense of maybe we don't need to really have a conversation with Frank but definitely with Benji and with Carmen because there is a real serious gap there so anyway this is what you can do with the logarithmic scale right because you have a wide range of data Right, and you don't need things that are really big and really small and a lot that you can't really analyze. And we use the combo charts right, because we have column and area, right? And then with population, we made a column graph mixed with a line graph. So thanks a lot. Hopefully this was useful to you. The logarithmic and combo charts. Thanks a lot. Again, I'm Oz, and send me questions and I will get you an answer. Thanks a lot.